Oh my goodness, what an absolute beautiful day it turned out to be. Well, my boss where I work, I work at a print shop, and my boss had a whole bunch of beer he was throwing in the garbage. And he had this stuff he was throwing in the garbage. He said, oh, it's old. He said it was in my basement for several years. The Stella Artois, I think it's pronounced. I'm not like a beertologist. I don't really know. I've never, I don't really drink this stuff. This is like high-end fancy pants beer. Well, he told me it was pretty old. He said it was in his basement for a long time. And he was thinking, oh, you can just chuck them in the dumpster. Or if you want, you know, dump the beer out and get the nickels for them, you know, for the deposit. Because I live in Massachusetts. Five cent deposit. Yeah, you chuck them in the dumpster and get your five cents. Or... He can do like I did and throw them in the fridge and give them a try. July of 2013. That means best before the end of July 2013. Now, I can't just like, you know, drink this and give a review on this if I don't have one from the future. Um, there's a beer store in my local town and they sell singles. I went and bought a single because this stuff's not cheap. I like drinking a cheap beer. Right off the bat, I noticed they changed their bottle over the years. The newer bottle is slimmer here. And they both say 12 point... 12... or 11.2 ounces. The back sticker has changed over the years. And this, they got horns on them. The horns have changed shape, as you can see. And the top paper labels have changed shape. And they've changed. I do notice that when you line the labels up, the caps are both facing exactly the same way. I don't know if they do that on purpose. But um, another thing I noticed, I carefully held them up to the light. The new one had more sediment in the bottom than the old one did. So, uh, I don't know. I might be just dumping these out getting the nickel for them if they taste like crap but i have nothing you know i had nothing to compare it to so let's uh let's give them a try ah, right off the bat i'm not a fan of that stupid paper crap it's a pop top not a twister i got me my lucky my trusty craftsman wrench here in the messy old garage bottle opener Wonder how many beers you got to open to wear that sucker out. Oh, well, let's uh, give her a taste. Uh, Belgium, where was this brewed? Brewed by brewery, blah, 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 Belgium. Thought I read this before and I thought it said imported and that it was made in like, oh yeah, St. Louis. So it says claims it's brewed in Belgium. But it's in St. Louis, bottled in St. Louis, or imported. I thought Anheuser-Busch owns this now. But who knows, this might be actual from Belgium. The older stuff. Let's give her a taste. Tastes like an ale, has like an ale taste to it. Oh, I don't like that crap. That stuff's garbage. Gives a thumbs down for that. I know you're supposed to probably damp, dump this fancy pants beer in a glass. I don't know. It tastes just like an ale. Doesn't really taste like nothing fancy. Claims it's a lager. Doesn't really taste like a lager. You know, not like a, a yingling. Tastes like a cross between like a yingling and a like a uh, what's the other green bottled beer? Uh, got my tongue tied here. Tastes kind of like a yingling. Like a cross between like a yingling and a rolling rock. Now let's taste. <laughs> Made in best before July of 2013. 
This is four year old beer. Opens it up with my trusty blow off nozzle. Ugh, stupid. I like the bit and glue it all the way to the top. That one's glued all the way to the top. I'm gonna save that. It's a cool cap. All right, let's try this. Hope I don't just spit it out. Hope it don't taste nasty. Oh my god, is that good. That tastes like... Oh, there's apples. I can taste the apples in it. I feel like an apple-y aftertaste. Totally different flavor. Oh, definitely. Totally different flavor. This tastes like cheap ale. Garbagey scuzz. This tastes like a rolling rock. Oh my god, is that good. It's like yingling mixed with uh, Newcastle. That's what it tastes like. It tastes like yingling mixed with Newcastle. Look at that. That's some good stuff. Wish I had more of this. Oh, that's amazing. That's got to be one of the best beers I've ever had. All right. So there you have it. <clears throat> Old versus new. Old is much better. I'll stop here in case you guys want to pause it and read them. Look at that. So I think I'm going to start uh, taking some of the higher end beers that I can get around here. Maybe start storing them in my basement for a few years and see what they do. This is amazing. I don't know if it's their older recipe. Because I know, I think Anheuser-Busch makes it now. I don't know if it's their older recipe that was actually made in Belgium. I don't know, this, this stuff is good. Well, uh, thank you for watching, guys. I'm not going to do too many beer review videos. I just thought this might be a nice little change up. Oh, wow. That was great. Thanks for watching. Yeah.